Hello everyone. Docker Web Logic Learn by Examples Video Series by Pavan Devarkonda. I am starting this session famous quotation from the Swami Vivekananda Expansion is life, contraction is death. Oracle Web Logic we are learning with the Docker containers. So we are going to use the Docker Compose where Compose is going to expand uh, multiple containers in one single go, one command. Compose file expansion where the service can be defined with the dependence on and you can connect one container with another one. You can define the common network for entire uh, multiple containers. You can create effective scripts uh, so that you can expand immediately that container is running up and running the compose variables can be used just like C programming where ampersand is used for pointer address whereas compose reference can be defined with the star that is going to refer so let us see the simple example here when we are going to use the docker compose in the last session we have done compose up so in this session we are going to see a new compose script then we are going to have the let us see this script here we have docker compose script there are three sections you can see the first one version where it is uh, we are using that version 2 and the second section is talking about network which will be commonly used in multiple services the third section is about the services so we are going to define two different services one is for admin server and another one is for managed server so admin server section you can see here it is going to use the app deploy and then it is using the WLS admin and you can have the port exposure then you can use the network so wherever you see ampersand that is a compose variables pointer references and wherever you are seeing star that will be automatically replaced with the defined values so if you are going to see uh, star a that will be replaced with admin server wherever you see star n it is going to replace with the WLS net let us see how it is going to work in the another terminal this compose file all right so I am in the this compose file where I am just created that docker compose.yml so we can test docker compose config by checking the syntax uh, it is saying it is everything good so we can bring up this environment docker compose up hyphen d so we are started two containers one is with the one is for admin server another is for the managed server so let us see what is happening in that docker compose tail is equal to all so it is saying the server is running and then we want to see the we want to see how many containers are running right now docker compose ps all right so container names are here WS admin and uh, mana servers container so we can take these and we can see the logs also docker all right the docker compose is started the second container and also we have the admin console connected and we are seeing the admin console coming up and right. now we got it the application that which is default sample application present in that and you can see here the servers whenever I have ran that compose it is created two containers one is for admin server another for the managed server so managed server is 
created another machine where it is going to use a node node manager and it is starting the server automatically you can see that manage server is also running on the 7001 port but when we are going to connect with the application we can use another port that is mapped so we can see the ports which are mapped the manage server port is mapped 8101 and application is sample So application is accessed from the manage server ms1 you can expand the servers and you can also increase the number of machines using the docker compose as in when you want to create new manage servers on the new machines you can create So we have seen that uh, how we are going to create uh, multiple containers. Docker compose scale is another command which we can run and see how it is going to work. Docker compose. Docker compose scale manage server is equal to 4. Used Docker compose YAML file. So, what we have done in the last session, we have uh, created this one port mapping for the manage server so this manage server is going to refer this weblogic admin server and then it is able to create uh, these variables and able to access okay so now we'll try to make another uh, new thing which is cluster so cluster we want to create and uh, when you are going to make a cluster we are going to use multiple manage server so multiple manage server is going to use with the two different uh, definitions of our compose manage servers which are going to refer the same uh, weblogic app deploy image and uh, there is a shell script create server.sh this create server.sh will be used it is going to call the create machine and then it is going to create the manage server so whenever there is a service request for the create multiple manage server scale option we have in the docker compose so you can use that option and you can create number of manage server services so this is the service we have manage server service node manager service admin server service so we have number of services and the last one you can see web tire so web tire uh, in this one we have apache installation apache container you are going to have and it is going to start with 80 port apache server is going to start and i'm mapping that one with the 88 so weblogic is going to have a cluster this cluster is going to use the service name the container name and each container web like manage server is going to use 7001 port because every managed server is going to use port 7001 in a isolated separate container that's why we can use 7001 for every managed server otherwise it will be conflicting with the admin server itself okay so when we are going to use this managed server we are not defined any ports uh, if we are going to define then it is going to conflict you cannot scale we have seen that uh, previous example okay so now uh, i'm going to run this example compose docker compose docker compose up 
so first it is created the network then it is uh, going to create the weblogic admin container then it is showing the manage server container started and it is waiting for the weblogic admin server uh, 7001 should be up and running even node manager container also co started that is also waiting for that and apache server uh, container is automatically started and uh, <coughs> you can see here the multiple containers output is coming on the screen so here we are going to have the weblogic server uh, admin server is up and running then it is going to start automatically manage server because it is waiting and it is all keep on checking then first it is starting the node manager in the background so node manager is started uh, with the wlst script and in the manage server container it is started the manage server so manage server will be and the node manager both are able to connect with the wlst two different containers running and both are able to uh, communicate now the server is picked up the node is able to give the machine capabilities to run the the managed server so simultaneously you are seeing on the same screen multiple containers output because of uh, compose script you can also see individual containers output if you want to see only manage server what is happening there you can see that one in a separate uh, you have to open another terminal because i am not running in the background so docker logs you can give the container name okay so this is the uh, container name docker logs hyphen f so that is showing what is the status current status so this is about uh, one of the see the logs you can terminate just like tail command it is and you can go to the admin console in the meantime and you can also see what is happening there admin console just reloading Alright, um, it is log. We are going to log in with the username, password. Yeah, it is running. The manage server is running. Well and good. Uh, you can see here servers summary, and both the servers are running. Admin server and manage server both are running. That's good. So you can check this uh, port numbers both are running on 7001 in their corresponding containers all right uh, if we want to expand this one you can expand okay so you need to go to the same directory where your uh, compose file is okay so in this compose file you can execute the command which are given in the github so you can see here scale command uh, you can scale uh, nodes you can scale the manage servers so i want to just go for the manage servers so i just want to test is it going to create really uh, n number of manage servers containers or not yes it is creating there is one already exists two three four it is creating now so um, the number of processors you can see docker compose um, you can see ps containers you can see the list all are create servers and uh, one create machine is there so this number of this many number of uh, servers it is going to connect to the admin server and it is going to show the server summary in that you can see I think it takes some time uh, to create the servers and adding to the domain and then it is going to show so without any hassle it is created uh, because all are using same port 
and uh, 7001 is a port number and each one is going to use different uh, containers every mana server is one one container it is going to use okay in the meantime uh, we can test this is it working samples okay so this is admin server port we want to test it for the apache server apache server is running on 8800 so this is what we have defined in the compose file once this is executed you can see that uh, server from which server it is okay you should not get admin server probably we have to get the manage server name yes perfect so this is coming from the manage server and uh, you can also see the IP address which is created dynamically the web logic network which is we have given in the compose file it uh, creates its own docker network and this IP addresses will be dynamically coming so host machine is my uh, vagrant box that is 192.168.33.100 okay so the machine which is generated uh, that name is here the manager server where it is running that uh, dynamic name that ID is displayed here alright uh, we can just refresh it again yes we have multiple uh, mana servers starting that three mana servers just now what we have scaled so it is creating all the mana servers and you can see the machine names each one is having different identity it is created and uh, each one is using common listen port so that's the beauty of compose and it can be used for production environments scale up is uh, one of the best feature we can get it from the docker compose so that's uh, one of the example where you can use the scale number of uh, containers mana server containers we have tried for creating the four mana servers and it is successfully started and it is able to communicate with the web server as well the apache server which is running in the front end and it is able to communicate with the mana server and then uh, let us see other options which you can also try that is uh, scaling with the node manager containers you can bring up a number of machines and on top of machines you can also configure from the admin console new managed servers overall what is we have done in the learning of this docker compose with cluster configuration ideas that is first we have uh, the Linux box where you are going to have the daemon uh, docker daemon is running oracle linux slim is created image then oracle J server jre created on top of it weblogic is installed then we have uh, domain instance domain image is created using this domain image we have created the app deploy image and on top of that command compose up is bringing up the admin and manage server combined domain and then whenever you use the manage servers uh, for one manage server is already existing and then it is going to create three manage servers and three containers will be created automatically when you said node manager 2 then it is going to create two more containers and each one will be running two different machines so each manage server is also having node node manager running inside and uh, new nodes if you are going to create and you want to attach it to the domain that is also possible here so that's uh, one of the best example of the docker compose docker weblogic learning by examples please follow me on twitter and subscribe to this channel thank you very much